Hi guys and today we have a very special guest Avirup Mukherjee from College of Medicine and Shagardatta Hospital Kolkata West Bengal thanks for joining and thank you Shivam thanks for having me here okay so now we will talk about his experiences at College of Medicine and Shagardatta Hospital and his life as a medico so let's begin the first question would be that what was your thought process before stepping in as a medico in Shagardatta Okay, so uh, after I got my rank rank card, uh, uh, and uh, you, you know the list was uh, published with what college I got. So I was happy. I was grateful for everything that I could reach this place, and uh, excited above everything to you know begin this new journey uh, as a medico, as a, you know towards the uh, this the journey towards this profession that I've always aspired for. So yeah, I was. Uh, pretty excited happy and grateful about everything what did you realize after your first day at shagardatta okay so the first thing that i realized that things are going to be different okay for 14 years i just attended school and now there's a massive change in everything like uh, now you i'm a medical student and uh, there's a hospital adjoining i can go in there you know and just explore no one stopping me and i'm just i can just explore and just see without doing anything i can just stand there and see patients going in and out and it can be fun <laughs> right and uh, apart from that uh, yeah so things changed i mean uh, uh, this i realized that the pattern of study that will be different there are uh, the teachers they are doctors actually so they will command different levels of respect <laughs> from us and yes yeah, so there was a massive change in everything okay so you got your college in 2018 so with that experience could you tell that uh, like do the government colleges like uh, does it really matter from which college are you pursuing mbbs well, honestly speaking nowadays uh, everyone goes for the pg so uh, even if you're doing from a private setup what matters is uh, you're doing pg from which branch and uh, that's what going to uh, uh, play a ma- major role but uh, the thing that i would say that is a the pro in uh, considered can be considered as one of the pros of government medical college is that the patient load that is huge that can be hectic in uh, some circumstances for the internship doing batch students but uh, otherwise you know the more patients you see the more you learn the art of medicine uh, you know it's called the practice of medicine <laughs> so that's all you can do you can practice it you can never pr- perfect it you can grow it you can practice it that's okay it's an ongoing process so the more you see the more you learn that way and government medical colleges provide a huge you know uh, patient uh, load uh, which uh, helps you in your exposure to uh, the diseases and everything Okay so could you speak specifically about the patient load at Shagardatta Yes uh well uh, I'm like I don't have any particular number uh, ki like uh, uh, how many patients come in and out every day But it's day. sufficient right But, it's uh, sufficient it's enough Yeah 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 it's more than sufficient like it's uh-huh. every time it's like crowded and every like there are lines uh, in the front front of doors of almost every department whenever in whichever time you go so there's no you know there's no scarcity of patients you can see a variety of patients with various diseases and learn f- from them okay so now i'll ask specific things about your college so firstly tell me about the campus all right so the campus is uh, okay so uh, the campus is actually pretty good i, I think there is a hospital building and uh, there's a hospital building there are there and then there is a academic building where the uh, classes you know the first year second year third year fourth year classes are conducted there apart from this there's also this uh, nursing hosp- n- nursing college uh, adjoining uh, which is also under the shagodato campus there's also a blood bank and uh, you know the usual stuff in government medical colleges and there's also this girls and boys hostel there are three canteens like uh, right and the most important uh, and the most amazing thing that is coming up in our campus is the uh, is a new cancer research institute which is a tertiary care institute which is uh, under construction currently the work is almost done and it is going to be uh, like one of its kind so that is actually pretty amazing and uh, we are all looking forward to it yeah so okay uh, so tell me specifically about the faculties the teaching staff 
फैकल्टीज आर वेरी फ्रेंडली वेरी फ्रेंडली एंड वेरी हेल्पफुल दे विल गाइड यू दे गाइड एस परफेक्टली फॉर आवर यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम्स एंड यू कैन आस एम एनी डाउट्स ऑल डाउट्स आर एंटरटेन एंड यू नो फर्स्ट ईयर सब्जेक्ट्स ऑल्सो सेकेंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर ऑल द प्रोफेसर्स आर अमेजिंग या Tell me about you people. Like as seniors, how are the seniors? Like how are the seniors? For the juniors, what kind of a mental setup do they need before entering the college? Like what kind of seniors would they meet? All right. So for those who are considering uh, uh, entering Shagotatta, I would like to say that uh, the seniors are. Sen- you won't f- feel like they are your seniors after the initial maybe your month they will become more of a friend and they will help you out in everything from it may be academic issue and a non academic issue anything they will be just like a friend right uh, and uh, we d- and <laughs> there is this thing that uh, you know uh, people believe that the term medicos actually translate to studies and that is okay that's true that's true to a certain extent medicos do have to study long long hours but apart, but we do manage some we do find some time for you know chilling and partying if if anyone attends the college fest uh, which is which are which is organized every year in our college they will understand like the amount of fun and entertainment that we get from there and it can be act- the place actually goes like crazy so yeah it's uh, the environment is if very good uh, all the seniors are very helpful and uh, yeah it will be fun <laughs> if you're considering we are looking forward to meeting you okay so that's like a uh, great to hear uh, it would really relax the minds of the uh, juniors who are thinking of joining the college this year and next moving on like tell me about the transportation facilities of shagardatta like where is it located is it in a remote area like is it uh, difficult to reach out public transportation is available or is not available okay so public transportation is actually pretty uh, like very well available actually there is a new metro station which has been constructed at uh, uh, constructed uh, near dunlop so basically if uh, you can get there it takes just 5 minutes on on a vehicle to reach shagotata hospital from there from dunlop right so yeah so it's very much accessible but if you're staying in south kolkata like me i am a resident of south kolkata then it might be a little you know hectic towards the uh, beginning days but as as it goes on it becomes uh, very much accessible and in sorts of no i personally don't but uh, yeah the hostel hostels are also pretty good what's uh, your friend's opinion about the mess food and the hostel facilities okay so uh, hostel facilities are good i mean uh, there is a dorm basically where uh, initially students are kept when the rooms are not available so in a dorm many students like 10 to 15 students might be kept for the time being and after that when the rooms uh, become uh, available then they will be shifted to their particular room the hostel fees are extremely low like uh, uh, 12 rupees per month so that is 144 rupees a year Uh, so th- and that is uh, like uh, nothing compared to minimum yeah, yeah other so yeah. Uh, so like there is just one last question okay one last question that uh, what would be your advice for the juniors who would join shagardatta in the upcoming years okay for them i would like to say one thing um, i would share my personal experience basically uh when in 2018 i uh, cracked neat and i uh, uh, i was you know feeling in the list for the counseling the list of colleges i uh, actually in the first place i didn't uh, consider shagodatta i kept uh, vardhaman after the top 5 colleges of kolkata you know so uh, but eventually but towards the end like that was the last day of you know submission of your list final confirmation like day and then uh, uh, my father actually got info from some somewhere and he said that shagodatta is really good you should keep it you can actually study from home if you go to vardhaman you have to stay in a hostel and uh, and that uh, studying from home is really a good thing right so in order to avail that i kept shagodatta but now i realize that it was the most probably the best decision that i took in the counseling process right i can stay at home uh, i can attend my classes i can come back and uh, yes so that's great i mean i thought that maybe it's a new college there would be problems uh, you know uh, but there were none 
everything was uh, fine and uh, yes it's it's pretty good yeah okay that's really great to hear and you have just i guess two more years at your college you can enjoy it to the most so it was wonderful talking to you so that's it for now guys hope you enjoyed the conversation a lot and how he dealt with the distractions he faced during his preparation time will be revealed in the next video thank you thanks